Hi, I'm Jamie Davis, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Bezier Curve tool in Inkscape, which is basically how to draw in Inkscape. So we'll come over to our project that we have loaded in already. I'm going to put push the control button while scrolling to make it bigger. I can also uh, click the plus or the minus on my keyboard to accomplish the same task. But what I want to do is draw this leaf right here. So I'm going to come over to the Bezier Curve tool, which is here. Now one thing that's really important is to make sure we're on the correct layer. My original I have locked, so it does not allow me to draw on that. That's the layer I'm going to be getting rid of. So I want to make sure that I have layer one highlighted, which I do. Okay, so now I'm going to come over here, and if I hover over this, it says Draw Bezier Curves. But this tool looks a lot like the freehand line and the calligraphy one. So just hover over until you see the Bezier Curve, and then select that. Now, my cursor looks like a little pen with an X on top, and I am going to hover right over where I want to put a, a node. I'm going to click, and it makes a node. Now you can see I've got a little red line that follows me. I am going to click right here to put a node there. I'm going to click to put one here. I don't want to put too many nodes. That just gives me a problem in the end. But when I come back, you see how that red how, how the little box where it started, we started at the beginning, that lights up. When I do that, it's automatically going to finish off the line. Um, I have a problem here, and I see that my line is gray. I don't want my line to be gray, so let's fix that. Let's come over to the Transform Objects tool, select that. I'm going to go to the Fill and Stroke, and I am going to notice that my opacity is way down on 25%. I put it that way for layer one, the original layer, because I wanted it to be really light so I could see what I was doing. But I don't want it that way for the shapes that I'm making. I want them to be full uh, opacity. So I did that, and that's all good. So I'm going to go back to my layers, and now I want to edit this line to make it look like a leaf, because it doesn't look like a leaf. So this tool here is called Edit Path by Nodes. It's right underneath the little uh, arrow, and you're going to be using these three a lot, between Bezier, the Edit, and the Select. Those are our top three tools. So I'm going to select that. And now when I hang on, look at that. The, the line just moves. I can click it again, and these little tools show up. This is really great. I can hang on to those. So I'll hang on to that one and then this one. And I can adjust my line till it looks exactly like what I want it to look like. So I'll mess around with that. Oops, I lost it, so click on it again. Great, now I'm gonna come down to this one and I will select that. The, the little handles already showed up. That's kind of helpful, I don't mind that. All right, so this is my leaf, but if I look at it, I've got a little uh, point right there. I don't like that. So I can get rid of this. I can solve this problem two ways. I can click on it and then simply with my delete button, I delete that and then that goes away and now everything's smooth. Um, so let's undo that. So I just control Z undo it. There's another way I can do that too. I can click on this and highlight this uh, node and then I can come up here to this tool up here and this one says make selected node smooth. There's a lot of different things you can do. What's great is when you hover above it, it kind of tells you what the tool's gonna do so you can decide if you want it or not. So if I click on that, it made it smooth, but it's not the right size. So I'm just going to adjust my little handles until it looks great and there you go. Now we have a nice leaf. But I wanna show you one more thing. So let's come over here and now let's do this little rose bud thing. Um, we'll click on the Bezier tool again because I want to draw that. So I've clicked on that. Now my cursor again looks like a little uh, pen. I'm going to put a node down here by simply clicking right there. I'm going to click up here. I'm going to click in the middle. I'm going to put another node right here. And then I'm going to come down here. In order to end this, because I'm not going to make it a full cycle here. I'm just going to end it over here. I'm going to double click. And what that does is end my line without having to connect it to the line that I started with. So now I'll go up here to my edit paths or edit nodes by path tool and then I can just grab on and adjust my 
line the way I want it. And do it again over here. And then lastly right here. And I am all done and I have what I want. So now again, as always with Inkscape, it just loves to crash just because it wants to. So I always click file and then save. And then there we go. That is how you use the Bezier Curve tool in Inkscape. If you like this video, hit the like button and uh, click subscribe. And thank you for watching my video.